Hey there LP. I know we prepared ourselves for this situation a long time ago, but can you tell me why the average American needed semi-auto assault style rifles? I'd be happy to Dharma. I have 10 examples for you. But first let me explain the pros and cons of handguns and semi-automatic rifles. Handguns are great for concealment and portability, but their bullets are small and have a limited range compared to rifles. Their accuracy is also inferior to rifles. That makes sense since their bullets are smaller and barrels shorter. So when you need better accuracy, longer range, and more power, you should use a rifle. But before you use a gun, be sure you understand the laws governing the use of firearms. Gotcha. So, what are those 10 examples where we need an assault style rifle? Number one is home invasion. When this happens it's often a sudden attack by multiple perpetrators. Their attack will also likely be pre-planned and they may even wear body armor. Your home's doors and windows may slow them down so you to get to your firearm. A small lightweight and maneuverable rifle like the AR-15 is perfect for this kind of situation. That makes sense. The more powerful bullets would be more likely to penetrate body armor, the accuracy would help keep the rounds on target, and it's more maneuverable for interiors. Exactly. In fact small AR-15s and M4s are often the preferred rifle for SWAT teams and soldiers in close quarters combat situations. So ARs are perfect for home defense. What about the problem with rifle rounds going through walls? Isn't that a concern? Not so much with the AR. The bullets are small, the same diameter as the tiny 22, but with more gunpowder behind them. An AK-47 is probably not a good choice for home defense. Why? Because it has a larger bullet? Yes. Like many larger bolt-action rifles these bullets pack more punch and can blast right through walls. Thanks. What's number two? Rural self-defense. In a rural setting you'll need the longer range and increased accuracy. The ergonomic features of assault-style rifles also make them safer to use there. These are things like pistol grips, full-capacity magazines, adjustable stocks, and red dot scopes. The military has refined these features over the years to keep soldiers safe. And effective, huh? So they are ergonomic features that just make the rifle easier to control, aim, and fire. Wow, who knew? Number 3 is self-defense against wildlife predators. Rabbit and dangerous animals are more easily and safely stopped with a rifle for all the reasons I've already mentioned. Looks like the guys outside are getting ready to storm the tent. I better hurry now. Number 4 is hunting. Military heritage rifles are robust too, perfect for outdoor use. Number 5 is widespread natural disaster. Criminal activity may rise after natural disasters. So having the flexibility and power of a semi-auto rifle is essential. Number 6 is civil unrest. Literally speaking this is a breakdown in the social order and a temporary loss of rule of law. So, you'll need a semi-auto rifle for self-defense. Number 7 is evacuation. We've seen whole cities evacuated in the past decade. You'll be without the safety of your home and crime may be up. A rifle would be a far better choice. Number 8 is deputization. Local law enforcement, like sheriff's departments, often have programs for volunteer deputies that are called into action during a crisis. Number 9 is economic and social collapse. While this is an extreme case it's on the table with all the crazy stupidity going on in Washington DC these days. Number 10 is freedom of course. The reason for the second amendment in the first place. A rifle gives an individual the ability to defend themselves, and if needed fight tyranny. Wow! I wish more people had semi-automatic rifles, with full capacity magazines, and ergonomic military features right now to defend themselves. Yeah! Too bad back in 2013 the American public fell asleep at the wheel, and let the government steamroll them into thinking fewer guns in the hand of good guys was... A good idea? Yeah, me too. Now folks are screwed. Totally. Hey, we better lock and load. Looks like the bad guys are coming close. <laughs>